bottle of Pinot Grigio at the table right as he sits. Thank you. Hi, Lori. Beautiful wines here that need to be experienced. Hi, Dad. Oh, this is a nice surprise. You never call. I hope I'm not bothering you. Is everything OK? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, uh, look, I don't want to take too much of your time. I know you're busy at work. But I was wondering, is there any chance you could get some time off this week? I, I've got some news I want to talk to you about in person. Dad, it's going to be hard for me to get away right now. Uh, OK, that's all right. I knew it was a long shot, but I thought I'd take a chance. Well, can you tell me the news over the phone instead of in person? Uh, I'd rather wait till you're off work. OK, I'll, I'll call you later, Dad. OK, hon. Bye. Bye. News. Hey. When's the last time you were home? It's it's been a little while. Oh, you must miss him. I do. How can I help? Uh, in two ways. Firstly, I need you to give me your honest opinion on this sauce. It's for the Valentine's menu, mm. so it has to be perfect. Mm. Maybe a pinch of salt, but it's delicious. Really You've got the best taste in the house that afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> now, the next thing is, you know the old steakhouse up the street? Yeah, I heard it was for sale. Not anymore. I bought it. What? I'm opening a second restaurant. That is, that is so fantastic. What do you think, manager? You know, you've done such a great job here. I would be crazy not to have you manage the new place, and there would be a race involved. Maggie, I, thank you for thinking of me, but I've been your GM here for five years. I've gone as high as I can go in this business outside of having something of my own. I just don't know if the investors will go for me bringing in a partner. Right. No, I, I, I understand. Listen, why don't you take some time, go and see your dad, and think about my offer. Good hip, inexpensive wine. But now, it's time to prove that we're more than trendy wine. And this is how we're going to do it. Grange Family Wines. They've turned down every company who's approached them in the past, but we just scored a meeting with them. Grange is an award-winning boutique winery that can bring us a new level of respect. Between their potential and our marketing muscle, we can make them a global name if we can get them to say yes. What we need is a sales rep to go there and do the unthinkable. Convince GFW to sign with us. Who's in? I'm in. And that's why Seth is our number one guy. Any other volunteers? Taylor. A prestige winery like Grange will boost our public profile beyond party wines. We need this. Yeah. I'll lock it down in three days. You know there's a VP position opening soon? You nailed the steel and it could be yours. Did I say three? I meant two. Your flight leaves this afternoon. The sooner the better. one of the only wineries in the valley that is still owned by the original family. In fact, Truman Grange continues to work with the same vines first planted by his grandfather. Now, here at Grange, we like to focus on single batches to make sure that every bottle is made with thoughtfulness and care. Chloe? <laughs> <laughs> You're home! Uh, everyone, this is Truman's daughter, Chloe. Hi, welcome. <laughs> uh, if you all want to head over to the tasting room, the other tour guide will set you up with some complimentary tastings. 
How could you forget? I mean, it's only the biggest Valley event all year. Well, I've been working 24-7. I hardly remember what day it is anymore. <laughs> well, the important thing is you're here. I can't believe your dad didn't say anything. You know, I actually am surprising my dad. You know, he said he wanted to tell me something, though, in person. Do you know what it's about? No, he didn't mention anything to me at the manager's meeting. Manager meeting? Wait, are you managing the winery yet? <laughs> yeah, your dad promoted me right after harvest. That's amazing. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> managing a fancy restaurant in Portland, and I'm running my favorite winery. Just two old friends living the dream. Oh, yeah, living the dream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have so much to catch up on. Uh, what are you doing right now? I was going to go see my dad. That was really the extent of my plans. Oh, well, he's going to be out on runs all afternoon. Uh, if you want to come with me, I was going to go check out the cabin. Because so thoughtless of me. I no, it's OK. It's, it's silly of me to pretend like it doesn't exist. I'll try. I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> uh, what's it been? Like a, almost a year? Yeah. You know, I'm so glad to see you too. Wow. Uh, well, we have a whole drive for you to catch me up on all the handsome men in your life. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's going to take us to the end of the driveway because there are none. <laughs> Here we are. Just like you remember it. <laughs> yeah, it was my mom's favorite place. to spend so much time out here. She liked to call it our mother-daughter retreat. If it makes you feel better, <laughs> it won't be sitting empty. What do you mean? Well, with everyone coming in for the festival and this place being so cute, your dad suggested we post it on a home rental site. Really? Huh. Guess he didn't like the idea of it sitting empty either. I advertised it as rustic and someone snapped it up. Even though it needs repairs? Yeah, I sent the tenant a message through the rental site telling them it was still needed a little bit of work, but they were fine with it. I hope you're okay with some everything so you won't have to be bothered at all. Thank you. I'm glad someone else can enjoy it. Uh, Ooh. we'll add that to the list. <laughs> now it's broken. Welcome to our cabin. Things will get repaired soon, I promise. In the meantime, enjoy. It may not be perfect, but it's home. I heard you were here. Hi, Daddy. Oh, Hi. Is your boss OK with you leaving? Yeah, she actually insisted on it. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. You should work somewhere where you're valued. I should. How's the car running? It's running fine, Dad. Good, good. Hey, you're just in time to help me set up for dinner. Everyone's going to be so excited to see you. You are staying for dinner, right? You don't have to turn around and rush back to work. I'm here for the whole week. I want to hear your big news. What's going on? Well, I'll get to it, but I'll give Dad a chance to enjoy having his daughter home for a moment. <laughs> it's good to see you. Good to see you. Many years ago, my lovely wife, Linda, Raise your glass to Linda. And let's give a big welcome home to Chloe. You are the family in Grange Family Wines. Thanks, Dad. Cheers. 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 Lovely night. I suppose this is the best time to tell you that this will be my last festival. Wow. It's time for me to retire and turn the winery over to some new blood. Don't look shocked, it's time. Way to bury the lead, Truman. <laughs> Ignore my husband. Congratulations. Thank you. So, what are your plans? There's plenty of time to talk about that. Let's just eat while it's still hot. So, when did you decide to retire? Actually, it was your mom's idea. She didn't want me here alone. But I thought you loved it. I do. But it's not the same without her, and, well, it's not getting any younger. So what's going to happen to the winery? Hey, have you tried this shard? It's, it's Dad, young, but the pear notes... Dad. Are... I may have... It shouldn't sell out. Uh, that we'd lose our integrity. Dad, I'm sure there are other options. 
Leanne, sell the winery to Leanne, not just some random company. We don't have to sell, but we should hear them out. Dad, please let me be a part of this, at least. I just don't want some slick salesman coming in here and taking advantage of you. Sure, of course. Thanks. So, what's the name of this, this company that we have to hear out? Stratosphere. Stratosphere. Oh. Dad, the box wine people... Oh, this is the worst. This is the worst. I can, I can help you with that. Oh. There you go. Thanks. Looks like we both found the only place that's open. What brings you here? Um, it's the only place that's open. And I'm, I'm stress snacking. Yeah, you? Uh, I'm starving snacking. Well, I mean, if you, if you need some suggestions, I do highly recommend the popcorn, because it, it just pairs so great with... Chocolate? Yes. Yeah, it's a perfect combination of sweet and salty. That's what I always say. <laughs> oh. It's a... Mother time. I hope so. Happy snacking. You too. Actually, look fun. Every day here is different. What could be more fun than that? Hey, <laughs> well, well, what's your hurry? What? Why are you? What are you, what are you? what are you doing? You just got into town. Uh, well, why, why don't you take a me day? Hmm? Maybe check out that mud spa down the road. Uh, get some shopping in. Why are you acting so? Then I, I guess I, I should go meet him. You don't mind him being here? No, my dad feels strongly about taking this meeting. I, I want to respect that. Hey, what was that look? Uh, nothing. I just thought you'd be bothered by a company taking over. Nothing's been decided. It's just a meeting. You know, when you said you were meeting with a wine company, I didn't know you meant right now. Where is this sales guy? He's right here but you probably guessed that. It's good to see you again. <laughs> Do you two know each other? Kinda. I, no. Uh, well, that cleared things up. So your dad was just uh, saying how you want to protect him from people like me. <laughs> she thinks I'm a little too old to make decisions on my own. No, Dad, I don't think that. This is a big deal, and I just... I do think that two opinions are better than one. And you think I'm going to take advantage. I get it. I guess you play the bad cop to your dad's good cop. Uh, no, I'm not the bad cop. Is that part of your sales pitch? What, there's no, your wine is so special. The world should know you. Uh, we, we're the only ones who get you. Town folks with your confidence and your false flattery. Let me guess, you gave yourself three days to close this deal. Am I right? Two. Wow, does that work where you're from? Uh, New York, and sometimes. Well. <laughs> Mr. Anderson, you are going to have to work a whole lot harder if you want to be taken seriously here. It's good to see you, too. I think that went really well. Yeah, I'll show you around. He's coming to save you. Go, 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 go. Oh, he's handsome. He's not handsome. He is the enemy. Not that I noticed his looks. Sure you didn't. So listen, I need a favor. He practically admitted that he's just showing... I'm sorry, email? What were you saying? About some repairs that are needed on the cabin. Yeah, but I thought you sold it as rustic. Well, I did, but I guess the tenant found it to be a little bit too rustic. So if you want to fill in for me in the tasting room, I can head over to the cabin, see what the problem is. You know what? No. Let me go to the cabin. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want the sales guy thinking I'm too available. I'm gonna let him sweat it out a little. Ugh. Hello? It's, uh, it's your landlord, I guess. Hello? I'm inside, so just didn't want to surprise you if you're here. And if you're not, then I'm talking to myself. There's a lot of downtime in the country, so I decided to help out and fix stuff. I hope that's okay. Handyman.
Thank you. Do you need a bag? Oh, I don't need a bag for that. Reception's pretty bad here. Uh, so I met with the family today. Look, it's gonna be a bit trickier than I thought, but uh, I'm confident we'll make the sale. You should probably start getting my VP plaque. sure weren't easy on Seth today. Well, he needs to know that we aren't pushovers. <laughs> I think he got that. <laughs> so how's everything at work? <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. Boy, you used to say, it's great. It's awesome. Maybe I need a change. You know what I mean? So you're talking to a future retiree. <laughs> Look what I found. <laughs> this is our first wine festival. Dad, what if... What if we recreated the original Grange booth for the festival? I mean, this might be our last festival, so what if we, what if we did this again? I don't know if people would appreciate something so simple. Come on, I want to do this. Let me do this for you. I'd be honored. Great. It'll be the best booth at the festival. Promise. Okay. Oh. and how to entertain myself. Question taken. Morning. Bearclaw? I know it's not popcorn and chocolate, but uh, it's a close second. What are you really doing here? I knew you were an early riser, so I thought I'd join you. No, I mean, what are you doing here? Do, do you realize that... This winery has been in my family for 60 years. Do you have any idea what this means to us, or it's just, just another deal you have to close? Don't judge me so quickly. I might surprise you. Really? What surprised me? Okay, how about this? See that tall tree over there? We're reading this off of some sort of tree out. I was a divorced kid. My mom moved to the city, and my dad stayed in the country. We used to go camping all the time. All right, all right. I'll... I'll give you that. Look, I might not know much about high-end wines, all right? Yeah, that's shocking. But I know a good story when I see one, and I'm really good at my job. You know what? Being charming is not the same thing as being good at your job. You think I'm charming? I... I... <sighs> Don't forget your bear claw. I'm taking this as breakfast. Not a bribe. 
I saw you and Seth in the vineyard earlier. You need to talk? Uh, nope. Nope, neither do I. Talking is so overrated. <laughs> hey, do you mind helping me with the booth for the festival? Uh, of course. It'll be like old times. Knock, knock. Oh, yeah. Are you still following me? Thanks for the coffee, Seth. Thank you. Uh, no problem. Hmm. You look like you could use this more than I could. No, no, thank you. It's all the quiet. Can't sleep at night. I need to show you something. Come with me. So, since my charm isn't working, I figured I'd show you how your business would grow once your company took over. We did a five-year forecast with in-depth analytics. We have an amazing team in place that will take over all day-to-day -day operations from your dad. And your current employees can stay on board if they like. This includes an enhanced benefits package and a pay increase. This is... This is a really great deal. This is a family winery. It's not about daily operations, and honestly, my dad would be very unhappy with someone here who doesn't understand what we do. You know what? You're right. You're right. That's why together. This is this is my uh, my boss. I should probably get this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Taylor. Hey. Mm-hmm. Someone's gonna have to give your dad a really good reason to turn this down. Hey, Taylor. Are you any closer to this deal yet? Uh, the dad's warming up to it, but the daughter's playing hardball. Listen, you need to figure this out if you want to be considered for VP. I know I do. Well, then do what you do best. Convince Grange to sell. Hey, don't worry. Pursuing a new career path now? Why don't you join in? Start pruning. You're having fun with this, huh? Well, you said you wouldn't sell somebody that didn't know the business. So, I'm getting to know the business from the ground up. <laughs> oh, get this. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. It's okay, I love my grapes. Looks like I'm the tour guide now. Uh, it's highly unlikely. Better watch out, you're getting your shoes dirty. It's okay, I love the dirt. Hey. I embrace the earth. I'm at one with the vines! <laughs> Good. So, uh, how's your buddy doing? Seth is fine. Come on, this sign isn't gonna paint itself. <laughs> Okay, the manual labor's a little overkill. Got a spite? Can't help, I got a blue collar underneath this white one. Really? It's weird, all I see is a stuffed shirt. Yeah. Uh, Excuse me, I'm trying to work okay, here. Okay, go that way. Okay, thank you, thank you. even wants to buy the winery. I think he just wants to drive me crazy. He's out there on a tractor with my dad, Leanne. Well, you gotta give him points for trying. Uh, no, I don't... I don't know. Maybe it's the right thing to do, because who else is gonna run this place? But there's just something about it doesn't feel right. 
You talking about Seth? No, he's just doing his job in the most aggravating way possible. He's made a real impression on you. What? No. <laughs> nuh -uh, no way. No impressions are being made whatsoever. Excuse me? Let me. I'll get this. Oh, no, I'll do it. Hi. Hi. Oh, Hello. what a great choice. This is our five-year-old Cab Frank. It's the medium body and high acidity make it a beautiful wine to pair with tomato and barbecue sauces. I love this wine because the more you drink it, the more it reveals itself to you. Oh. You'll notice the plum and strawberry notes up front, followed by a slightly spicy, certainly not for the impatient. You really have to, to work to fully appreciate it, which is why it's one of my absolute favorites. Mm. You should try it with the cheese. Thank you. I forgot how good you are at this. No, I'm rusty. Well, it didn't sound that way. Thanks. It was kind of fun, actually, to talk about our wine again. Mm -hmm. You ever thought about taking over the winery? Me? No. No, my, my dad would never go for that. Growing up, he was always pushing me to go out and find what I love. What if what you love is right here? Oh, Plumber's on his way to the cabin. Is everything okay? Yeah, I just gotta go let him in. Uh... Hang out with my new best friend, Seth. Point taken. Yeah. I'll be back. Have fun. Okay, so the kitchen's just here. There's something comforting about a creaky house. You never feel alone. It's like you're in my head. Did you say something? Oh, uh, no, sorry. Sorry. So what's the damage down there? Nothing major, just uh, loose fitting. We'll be done here in a second. Oh, great. Tucked way back behind the sink. My mom made this clock. <laughs> I'd wonder where it'd gone. It's got a little water damage, but with some luck, you'll get it working again. Thanks. Have you thought more about my offer? Enjoy your break. I'm all done. Any more problems, give me a call. Great, thank you so much. What can I get for you? Um, I'll do the uh, the rib dinner, please. Okay. And could, could you switch out the mashed potatoes for uh, kale salad? I could, but not here. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess I'll just take it as it comes. Excellent. More wine. All right. Well, then I, I guess I'll I'll do the Grange Pinot Noir. Well, I think that's a good choice. Welcome to town. It's that obvious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I hear you've been going out to the cabin. Oh, Leanne sure is uh, chatty today. You know, that was your mom's happy place. I know she wanted it to be the same for you. I see her in you more and more every day. You have her eyes. You've always, always said that. And her feisty streak. And that. <laughs> you know, she made me want to be a better man every single day. I know you'll find that in someone, too. It's Valentine's Day making you sappy, Dad. <laughs> I just like everyone to be happy. <laughs> oh, uh, Seth wants to work alongside you tomorrow. You've got to stop giving him attention. You're making him so much worse. I had fun with him today. <sighs> and it's been a long time since I got... He wants to buy the winery. Chloe, I'm not making this decision lightly. Seth, I know you're not. But... And I do appreciate that he's making an effort to get to know the winery. 
And I need you to at least pretend to appreciate that, too. Believe it or not, I do. Good. You should, uh... You should tell your tractor buddy to wear different clothes tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nancy. I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Save me a piece of that pie. What, okay? just a piece? I'm gonna make a whole pie just for you. You're the best. Any chance you know how to make a sentimental cuckoo clock cuckoo once more? Thanks. In need of repairs. Bar. I'll pretend that's a compliment. <laughs> okay, listen, I'm delivering cases to our loyal customers today, so just please stay out of my way and let me do my job. You won't even know I'm here. Really? Yeah. Okay. Does GFW always hand deliver? You know, there's companies that do this for you. Wait, GFW? GFW? Okay, I will pull this truck over. Ooh, ooh. To answer your question, the, the vendors are more likely to sell our wine if a personal relationship is established. You know, it's something called customer service. Maybe they don't have that where you're from. You can't resist a jab, can you? It's not personal. I'd be like this with anyone from your business. Oh, no, let me get the oh, no, I got it. Thanks. Those, these are long-time customers, so there is no need for you to stay over. Never crossed my mind. Hi. Holy Grange. God, I haven't seen you in a week. Oh, you're a mind reader. Your Pinot is the best seller in the house. That's great news. Uh, who's your friend? Oh, uh, him? I, he's a... he's an exchange student. From Finland. Yeah, doesn't speak English. Moro. Siet Anderson. You're a pookie. Aw, good job. Yeah, he's new. Let's go. We're going to go now, Seth. Okay, take care. <laughs> Don't go. You speak Finnish? No, but neither did she. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's next? Wait, wait, wait. No, wait, where is his order? Need some help? No, I have a system. You wouldn't understand it. I got a system, too. It's called a smartphone. No, I like to write stuff down because it actually helps me remember it better. Plus, I don't want to have my head in my phone all day. I'm sorry, what, what, what did you say? <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> oh, here it is. Okay. Product he needs. You okay? No, it's it's his owner. He has the most successful restaurant in town. He never buys from us. My dad has tried for years. Wait here. special edition blend. You'll be the first restaurant in the valley to have it. My customers expect something nuanced. Oh, it's a complex blend. It's a uh, Cab Franc, Petit Verdot. Well, I'll be. Is this the Grange blend? You know, some people prefer Paris, but uh, you give me Leon any day. What? Blind tasting. I was just there last month. I didn't hear about this. It was invite only, you know, for top collectors. Yeah. You're a collector. I'm a buyer for private collections only. Yeah, there's a lot of money in Texas oil. 
They just need a little help with taste. If you know what I mean, pretty lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. So who are you? I own this restaurant. Hmm. Well, in that glass sits the wine that beat out wines from Bordeaux and the Rhone region. My top collector friends would flock to any place that carries it. Yeah, you know, maybe now that it's had a little time to breathe, you could... It does have the complexity of a Bordeaux. It just needed to breathe. You're absolutely right. Well, you know, let's cut to the chase here. How do I get an entire case of this? Oh, you know, I'm so sorry. I think you're out of luck, because he was just about to buy both of the cases I have with me. Come on, buddy. I mean, you can't spare a few bottles. I have a long-running relationship with Chloe's father's winery. I wouldn't want to do that to her. All right, all right. I know when I've been beat. So sorry. Well, you know. You win some, you lose some. Mm -hmm. Look, your place might need a little help with the decor, but uh, I'll be back with some of my friends. OK, good. <clears throat> Thanks again. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> 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 Wait, a, a, a blind tasting? Where do you come up with this stuff? I read about it online. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do anything. I just set you up. You closed it. Two cases. I know, right? Two cases. I, I, I didn't think you'd buy a bottle, not to mention two cases. Thank you. Really, thank you so, so much. No problem. Your accent was overkill, though. What? I've been working on that accent, okay? <laughs> I thought my Texas accent was actually better than my Finnish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you hungry? Uh, yeah, I kind of am. Yeah, me too. See a good place over there, right? All right, thanks. <laughs> Any requests? Oh, no, I'm I'm not picky. Anything. You're not gonna leave me, are you? I would never. Maybe. <laughs> I might. <laughs> Watching you. That place was great. I got some awesome stuff to eat. Thank you so much for doing that. What's going on? I just got this text from Leanne, and it looks like they were putting us in the some some corner at the festival. I've just been working so hard to make this special for my dad, and they want to just tuck us away. Well, where do you want to be? I want to be in the center of it all. I mean, this might be our last year, and I, I don't know. I don't want to be tucked away by the garbage cans. OK. Well, let's fix it. Really? What are you planning? Come on, let's go. <laughs> okay, Leanne said we were in the back. Okay. Let's see where you are. Oh, here it is. This is terrible. No one's going to be able to see us from back here. You know what? I have an idea. Here, let's bring this over here. Yeah, but people are going to know. Now, tomorrow, you just casually set up uh, like you were supposed to be in this spot. Okay, you're a bad influence. It's for a good cause. <laughs> okay, this is much better. Thank you. All right, now I'm hungry. Let's eat. Yeah. When's the last time you went on a picnic? A picnic? I honestly can't remember two cases. Oh, yeah, we have to. Uh, you know what? We have all that good food in the car, won't we? Follow me. I have an idea. This is much more fun than a picnic, and a lot less windy. You're in for a treat. 
This is the perfect bite. Mm. What do you think? That's delicious. Who are you? In ways, and then, and then you do all this. I, I can't figure you out. Why don't we stop talking about business, all right? I just, I never get a chance to relax. You know what? You're right, neither do I. <sighs> this little picnic would be delicious with a, a bottle of our Cab Franc. Uh, Have you tried it? Yeah, it's good. It's good? Good? Yeah, it's really, it's really good. It's fruity. Fruity. <laughs> I'm sorry. How do you, how do you actually work for a wine company and not know wine? I folk beer were known for making boxed wine cool again. Boxed wine was never cool. That's <laughs> <laughs> <Let's> just. <laughs> it's very funny. You might be Truman's daughter, but I think there's a lot more to you. Who wouldn't want to live here, honestly, and talk about wine all day? I'm jealous. I grew up with crowded sidewalks and concrete parks. Yeah, but what about your camping trips? I was, those stopped when I was 15 after my dad died. I traded life in as a good old me who I am today. Now I just work as hard as I can to be as successful as I can possibly be. Success can, can be protective, but is it really fulfilling? Well, what do you think fulfilling is? Being passionate about what you create and not selling out. Um, you know, I just never had a family business to fall back on, I guess. I, you know, just because my family started this, it doesn't mean I haven't had to work incredibly hard. And don't you people have put their heart and souls into? Actually, people thank me for allowing them to grow far more than they ever could have imagined. Chloe, do you think I'm... I'm coming in and trying to take everything away from you? Because I'm... I'm just doing my job. See, that's what... That's what worries me. We should probably, sorry, we, we should probably go. Yeah. Hey, we okay? Yeah. Yeah, everything's fine. Thanks for today. No problem. No, I got it. Really, I'm fine. No problem. See you after. Okay. Your bill is wrapping up. <laughs> Does your handyman experience cover advice on dealing with a jerk at work? Hmm. jerk repellent is doing the unexpected instead of fighting back smile 
A jerk is only a jerk if you let him get to you. Chloe, I need your opinion. I was thinking, two reds and a white for our festival booth, but which ones? I think well, here, here's Soul, we give one for free. Or we're so confident the product would sell, we just give it on consignment. <laughs> or not? Yeah. You know, to answer your question, I was thinking that we should do a cab, a Pinot Noir for the red, and then, uh, and then for the whites. Why don't we, we do could... a rose? Do a rose for the white. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. Good. Good idea. Thank you. I need a talk to you. Yeah. So good. Are you uh, feeling okay? okay? Uh -huh. What's with this smile? Mm, yeah, I just uh, read that, you know, I'm dealing with someone like Seth that just helps to smile. Makes it seem a little crazy, but... Yeah, it's okay. Great day. I smiled... until... my cheeks hurt. Is it just me, or have your cabin visits made you extra giddy? I don't know what you're talking about. You're blushing. <laughs> What's going on? It's Handyman. Well, that's what the tenant calls himself. You've met him? No, not in person. Okay. Explain, please. Okay, so he just took it upon himself to start fixing things around the cabin, and that led to us leaving these messages for each other. Yeah. Okay. I was hoping you did, since you handled the reservation and the emails. I don't even have a name. All the details were at the home rental site. Does anyone else know about your cabin crush? It's not a crush, it's just entertainment. Although I was thinking that maybe it's someone that's in town for the festival, because all the locals know about the cabin. Mm-hmm. It's a small town and the tourists are easy to spot. So our list of potential handymen is already narrowed down. So if we wanted to maybe figure out who it was... If we did... You know who's new in town? Seth. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> this guy is, is, is helpful and funny and fixes things. It's definitely not Seth. <laughs> Dinner's almost ready, girls. Okay. Search the emails. Yes. Okay, now most people post their own profile pictures while other people post pictures of their dogs or maybe a movie character. Our profile pictures of wine grapes. Oh, makes sense. I thought so. Who's Leo? That's us. Leanne, Chloe, Leo. I know you like to keep things private, so I didn't use our real names. Oh, very clever, Leo. I thought so, Leo. Now, our tenants went with the more elusive sunset photo. And for their profile name, the cryptic T and S. And there's there's nothing in the emails they sent, or there's no clues there? There's a phone number. Call it. Hello. A woman. Uh, hello? What would he possibly say? Uh, I thought Handyman was a guy. I mean, Handyman has to be a guy. They're, they're, they're... I've seen his man's deodorant. There's nothing lying around the cabin that says female. Maybe he's got a wife or a girlfriend. He didn't bring her to the adorable rustic cabin on Valentine's Day weekend? Mm. There, there's nothing there, I'm telling you, that says romantic getaway. Maybe he's so important he has his assistant book everything. Hmm? There's only one way for us to find out. don't have to be last impressions. Sometimes we try too hard when we're outside of our comfort zone. This is an emergency. I told Handyman we should meet. Okay, um, where to begin? You, you want to meet Handyman because... Because I, I... Because there's a reason I have a crush on this complete stranger who calls himself Handyman. I just... I have to meet him and figure it out. Okay. 
Makes sense considering. So, what's the plan? Uh, I asked him if we could meet tomorrow at the Main Street Tavern at 2 p.m. Which is, <laughs> yeah. Good luck. <laughs> I think it's time we meet. I'd like to thank you in person for all you've done. Main Street Tavern, 2 p.m. tomorrow. I'll be the one ordering the Grange Cab Franc. I'm just gonna go sit over here now. Okay, okay yeah. I'm uh I'm gonna sit right here. Great. Sit right here. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Hi. Some your drink? Hi. I'll have a glass of the Grange Cab Franc, please. Right away. It can't be. Mm. Here we are. Thank you so much. You book. Hey. Hi. Late lunch? No, I'm meeting someone. Uh, secret Valentine? Hold up, wait, wait, don't tell me you're, you're meeting with another buyer. Because that, that would hurt my feelings. Very funny. Why don't I keep you company while you wait? No, 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 how about you just let me sit here in peace? Hi, right, something to drink? I, uh, yeah, I'll do the, what, what are you drinking? The Grange Cab Franc. The Grange Cab Franc, that sounds Perfect. I will do that, please. Great choice. Hmm. This must be a pretty important person, by the way you keep looking back at the door. Why do you care? Why are you here? I'm here because... Guest is, is, is expecting to meet me alone, so if you could just eat your food at the bar or maybe you know, another restaurant. Oh, it's so comfortable uh, here. Here we are. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Very comfortable. You're really enjoying this, aren't you? This person must be pretty interesting. For you to be dressed up like that. You look really nice. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Interesting, but not punctual. So you're not meeting a secret Valentine, and you're not meeting another buyer, so uh, who, who are you meeting? Fine, if I tell you, will you just go away? The cabin. It's actually a place that my mom spent a lot of time before she, she before she passed. I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that. I, I had no idea. And here I was going on about my dad. No, I'm, I'm glad you told me that. Anyway, um, I have this pen pal friendship with the tenant who's staying there. He calls himself Handyman. That's all I know. Handyman? Mm-hmm. Okay, what do you call yourself? Um... In need of repairs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you and Handyman, you're... The cabin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I hope he's getting a discount. Okay, fine. Go ahead. Make fun. I'm not making fun. I, 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 think, I think it's nice. He's lucky. Well, it obviously doesn't matter because he's, he's clearly not showing up. You know, maybe he, um, maybe he doesn't think he's good enough and he backed out, you know? Or maybe he's hiding in plain sight. You know, he, uh, what if he's that guy right there? He just needed some courage, you know? <laughs> like a lot of courage. What about that guy? Oh, no, that guy clearly builds robot sculptures from objects found in his kitchen. Oddly specific. And hey, what about that guy? He lives with his mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about that guy? A hipster? Really? You deserve better than that. <laughs> Listen, I, I just have to say thank you for making being stood up so much fun. That's what a wingman is for. Uh, um, 
Thanks. I should probably miss it. Take care. So, how'd it go? Was he cute? Tell me everything. He didn't show. Then why are you smiling? Oh, I, I didn't realize I was. Um, you were gone for a long time. What were you doing instead? I ran into Seth. Seth? Like the Seth you hate, Seth? Like the Seth I, I may hate a little less than before. Huh. No, no haunt. There's no haunt. <laughs> There's nothing to haunt about. And you're not at all curious about what I'm happened? I'm gonna be curious about. Hey, Taylor. You gonna come join us? I got a chocolate meringue pie with your name on it. You're trying to fatten me up, Nancy. Hi, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hi, where are you? Seth. Seth, are you still there? Yes, yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Sorry, I just found a place of reception. And pie, apparently. What's the hold up, Seth? We need you back here with those contracts signed. Well, I'm, I gotta stay one more day. The Valentine's Wine Festival is tomorrow. It's the biggest event in town. If we're gonna buy the company, we need to understand all aspects of the business, right? What happened to two days? It isn't like you to take this long. She's just been more challenging than expected. She? I'm at Grange. We need this winery. And get back to what you're doing. Nice chatting with you. Okay, close your eyes. Come on, cover your eyes. I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, just walk straight. Hi, Chloe. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Okay, keep walking straight. No peeking, Dad. No peeking. Are you peeking? No, I'm not peeking. I can't see. Right, sorry about that. Okay, <laughs> to the right, to the right. <laughs> Go straight. Okay, you can open your eyes. Oh, <laughs> Chloe. Oh. <sighs> Don't you think Mama though loved it? Oh. Mama. Maggie, how was dinner service? Super smooth. The menu was a hit, but that is not why I'm calling. Guess what? I thought about what you said. I talked to my investors, and they agreed to back me with you on board as a partner. Wait, they did? <laughs> I told them how invaluable you are. It's yours if you still want it. Wow, that, that, that happened fast. <sighs> hey, listen, I gotta jump off. I'll email you the details tomorrow. Bye. All right, bye. That time, huh? Yeah. I guess so. You ever been fishing, Seth? You know, I never make an important decision without coming out in the water first. I even proposed to go his mother on a fishing trip. You're a natural. I never expected that from you. I've been getting in touch with my country boy side ever since I got here. <laughs> that doesn't seem... Why don't you leave those contracts with me and I'll give you my decision by the end of the day. You don't need a little more time? More time? <laughs> I took you as a deal maker with a sharper right hook than that. You know, I used to have one. Lately, I don't know where that guy went. You shouldn't be spending Valentine's Day with an old man. Let's get you out of here so you can check out the festival. Chloe's there, in case you're wondering.
<laughs> Take care. Oh, wow. Look at this. Hey, guys. Hi. Hello. What do you think of our little festival? Does it stack up to your big city events? Oh, I just got here, but uh, it looks like it stacks up to all the big city festivals. Chloe, you should show Seth around. Oh, I can't leave you. We're too busy. Jeff? Why don't you tag Chloe out so she can take a break? Anything for you, Leanne. Oh, my <laughs> Romeo. <laughs> Go ahead. Have fun, guys. We got this. You sure? All right. Let's go. Thanks, Jeff. So, yapping Yorkie circling your feet when you get home. <laughs> oh, a Yorkie? I thought you were thinking me more of a, as a Doberman. Fearless and well-groomed. Either way, you're still a dog. <laughs> Let's go for participants to join us for the wine and food pairing event happening, happening on the main stage. Ooh, the wine tasting competition. We have to do this. Come on, Doberman Anderson. You gotta help me win this thing. I doubt that, but uh, what, what is this? It's a competition that tests your senses and determines which couple has the most knowledgeable palate. Oh, is that it? Mr. Big City Boy, like, what are you checking now? <laughs> Hello, here you go. Right. Thank you. Come on. We can do this. Hi. Hi. Next person? Here you go. <laughs> Why don't you take him some champagne? All right. I'll be there in a second. Okay. Dad! Congratulations are in order. Did Seth say something? Did he say what? What what are we talking about? <sighs> Wait, what were you talking about? Uh, I I, I... Chloe, <clears throat> I, uh, I wanted to put this off until tomorrow. Okay, Dad, you're scaring me. What's going on? I've been thinking about the sale. I don't think I have another option. Maybe you do. Dad, what if I took over the winery? What would you think about that? Chloe, I don't want you to give up everything. There you go. You, you, you can't do both. You should do the thing that makes you want to spring out of bed, excited to start the day. Well, that is exactly how I feel here. I think I had to go away and experience all that other stuff so that I could come back and I could appreciate all of this. I want to run the winery. Give it to me, not some company. <sighs> I know I haven't always been present, but Dad, I'm here now. This is a part of me. I have no idea. How happy it makes me to hear you say this. If you'd only said it a little earlier. Don't say that. Nice. Free hot toddies for the winners. Why wouldn't you tell me? What? No, it's, it's not his fault. Chloe, I, I wanted to tell you, but this wasn't the right time or place. It's not his fault. If you hadn't come into town, none of this would have happened. Chloe, why are you so upset? This is great for everyone. You know what? If you don't understand it by now, I... Wow, you are just... You're an even better salesman than I thought. Congratulations. You got everything you wanted. Chloe. Chloe! Wow. Hi, Maggie. It's Chloe. Listen, I just wanted to, I wanted to say thank you for your offer, but I'm going to have to say no. You need someone who's going to give you 100%, and that's not me. My place is here in the Valley. I, I, I don't belong in Portland, so I hope you can understand, and thank you for everything. Hey. I was just um. Call her back and explain. I don't want to. Oh. 
work here or get a, a job at another winery. I, I don't know. But I do know. I do know this is where I belong. This. <laughs> this is my home. I'm sorry if. If I let you down. You didn't. Will I always feel this way? Finding what makes you happy isn't always easy. never gonna believe it. I was hungry, but I was sick of all the food at the festival, so I stopped by that little cafe. I want you to have it. What? Yeah, we have to keep it in town. You know, I can't take it with me. I was talking to Nancy, the waitress at the Cornerstone Cafe. I know who Handyman is. In fact, I'm with him right now. You are? Where? Right here at the cafe. Okay, stall him. Just uh, do whatever you have to do. I'm on my way. D don't you want to know who he is? on purpose I thought this contract was your purpose <laughs> it was until I found something more important than business you did <sighs> you Chloe your passion is infectious you make me want to be a better person find something more fulfilling I had more fun being your handyman in your middle-of-nowhere quiet cabin than I ever did in the city. Don't sell the stratosphere. That's... That's, of course, if you, if you want to. It's one of the things I want. So, what's the other thing? <laughs> well, maybe it's a good question for a handyman. What do you think Handyman would advise us to do right now? This. Feisty at first, and it's smoother and more mature by the finish. <laughs> Sounds like us. <laughs> what do you get? Hmm. I have to say. Well, and you get fruity. Come on, you can do better than that. Try again. Close your eyes. Now 
what do you get? Mm. Happiness, <laughs> laughter, and a lot of love. This just became my new favorite wine. <laughs> to... To us. To us.